Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Protective Life, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and University Kia. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. This is a hot, off-the-bus show, Coach. We just got back from Mississippi Valley State, along with the marching maroon and white. Good to see them on the road with us. Yeah, it was great seeing the band there. Uh, I was surprised when uh, the AD told me the band was coming. And then, uh, of course, I heard them uh, right before kickoff coming in, uh, playing as they normally do, and uh, lighting up the whole stadium. Small stadium, small venue. Thursday night game, Coach, short turnaround for you. How did that affect your team? Well, you know, it was a short turnaround, uh, playing on Thursday night after Saturday. And, uh, you know, we tried to make the best that we could uh, practice Monday and Tuesday. Walked through Wednesday and we had to play, play Thursday. So um, it is what it is. Uh, we understood when we agreed to, to play the move the game up. They the home team, but we had also agreed to do it. And uh, so we're not going to make an excuse by that. And of course, Coach, coming up on the short end of the scoreboard, you get a chance, though, to write all the wrongs you ever thought about during the season with your next ball game. Yeah, we uh, we play uh, Jackson State in uh, Mobile. And, uh, you know, we, we got to regroup. We got to regroup. Didn't play very good tonight. Um, you know, you could say arguably uh, the worst team in the league at 0-8, and, and now we're going to the best team in the league at 8-0. and So uh, we got a lot of work to do. And uh, we got to get it turned around fast. I know the effort, Coach, is not missing. Good job by your defense and your offense at times. Sometimes the ball just didn't go your way. Yeah, you know, a uh, couple of interceptions. Uh, we had one-on-ones, and uh, the DB took it away from our wide receivers. Um, and we, we fumbled the ball twice. Uh, Eagle fumbled once, and uh, C.J. fumbled. That's four turnovers. Uh, you can't beat it. You can't beat anybody with four turnovers, much less a good football team that's gonna fight you and keep playing. Um, I told the guys before the week, this is the best 0-8 football team you're gonna ever play, mm. and uh, it, it it proved me right. Of course, this is a special show for the Alabama and m Football Review. We have several highlights from several games that we will be showing you. First, let's give a mention to the folks who get all this fine work done for us. Jordan Noseworthy, Cameron McKinney, Mackenzie Smith, Andrew Karstarfen. We appreciate all your hard work. And, of course, we're going to have a show, Coach, from the Magic City Classic or from one of our homecoming games or any of the games during the season of the Marching Maroon and White. Please make sure you stay tuned to watch that. Coach, I know you have a special message for them, too. I'm waiting for support of uh, me in this program and uh, how to show up and support and always there for us and got our backs. Jalen Chapman captures all of the video that you see of the marching on Rune and White, and we hope that you enjoy that footage as well. So stay tuned. Take a good look at what the Bulldogs have done this season on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Ladies and
Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition. During this global pandemic, competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama A&M Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! In golf, if you make a mistake, there is a mulligan. Well, in God, if you make a mistake, there is mercy. Aren't you glad God has mercy for your mistakes? Hello, I am P.T., Pastor Troy. I want to invite you to come and worship with us at the Fellowship of Faith, where Jesus is exalted and the Word is explained. We love Alabama a &M. Go Bulldogs! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis, the worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs>
you for watching the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, let's get real serious for a moment. As you just said a moment ago, you go from arguably the worst team in the conference to playing the best team in the conference. In your mind right now, what's the most important element you get to change this week in practice with two extra days over Jackson State before you play them? Well, I mean, it's, it's just us. We got to take care of us. We got to take care of the football. Uh, we can't throw the ball to the other team. We can't fumble the ball to the other team. Uh, we can't give up big plays on defense. You know, uh, we gave up some big plays uh, last night uh, to Valley, and uh, we didn't make enough big plays. We made one big play. Uh, we had a couple of opportunities to make plays and didn't make them. So we got to take care of us. You know, if we take care of us, we have a chance uh, next week. Someone would ask the question, Coach, about division in the locker room, which is always an interesting question to me. But you're the head coach. What's your attitude? And then what's your team's attitude after that? Um, well, you know, uh, you're always going to have a couple um, arguments here or there. If you got a football, you know, you normally have a couple of fights. You know, we haven't really had any fights this year. But we have a couple of guys to argue. That's just, that's just human nature. Family business. Uh, guys get upset hot after the game and uh, kind of lose their temper sometime. And uh, that's just going to happen. That's in every locker room. And of course, Coach, the meltdown might happen at the Gulf Coast Challenge in Mobile, Alabama next week. We're going to kick off Mardi Gras early for y'all in November. Coach, it's going to be a bigger game than we can ever imagine. Been sold out, no hotel rooms. You're on stage again. Yeah, it's a big game for us. And uh, we need to go down and play well. Uh, a lot of people play, paying a lot of good money to come and see us play, and we need to perform better. I need to coach better. starts with me. i got to get these guys prepared, and uh, we got to be ready to play in Mobile. And of course, Coach, a big game like that, going back and forth with quarterbacks, you've got a new running back, you've got your defense aligned now. I think it's just going to take a lot more effort from your student-athletes. Yeah, we got effort, but mistake-free. Again, we, we can't turn the ball over. We definitely can't turn it. they got number one defense in, in the conference. I think they're giving up like eight points a game. And uh, and they got a pretty good offense, too. They're scoring a lot of points. So, again, we got to play at our best. Uh, uh, we know they're the best team in the league. And uh, we were at we didn't the bottom. You know, we're three and three in the conference. So, in the conference, we're probably right in the middle of the pack. Uh, but, you know, our overall record is not good. Uh, we don't really look at that, but we look at our conference record. And we're kind of right in the middle of the pack. So, we got to do a lot better job of coaching, playing, and execution. Uh, to keep this game close. If you had to write a script for the ball game of how this is going to, it needs to go to the Bulldogs to win, Coach, what would you say? Do you need to get an early start in the first quarter, kickoff return for a touchdown? What do you think? Well, we just got to get off to a good start. We need to score first and stay in the game. Uh, see if we can't keep the offense off the off the field and keep ours on the field and uh, keep it a low-scoring game, get to the fourth quarter, try to steal it in the fourth quarter. Again, thank you, Coach. And, it's the early morning for us here at the Alabama a Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. We hope you enjoy another set of highlights. But if not, hey, we'll see you next week after we talk about another Bulldogs victory right here on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard.
fans, thank you for joining us today for the Alabama A&M University Football Review. Bulldog Faithful, we encourage your support and participation. Until next time, go Bulldogs! Bulldog fans, the Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition. During this global pandemic, competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama A&M Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! In golf, if you make a mistake, there is a mulligan. Well, in God, if you make a mistake, there is mercy. Aren't you glad God has mercy for your mistakes? Hello, I am P.T., Pastor Troy. I want to invite you to come and worship with us at the Fellowship of Faith, where Jesus is exalted and the Word is explained. We love Alabama a &M. Go Bulldogs! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. 
The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs.